rooms, old and new. Hope everybody's doing well. I saw this thing on, um, saw it in the vinyl community, which I've been following more and more people from there lately. I would love to fit in, but I don't have any vinyl. But I do have a love of music, and these people do as well. And they do some cool stuff on their channels. So you're probably going to see me, uh, I don't know, adding my two cents on some of the things they talk about. Um, but I saw one recently, <clears throat> and I can't remember whose channel it was on. Was if you could only listen to ten bands for the rest of your life and only studio records original studio records not compilations not live records not you know, greatest hits that kind of thing so only studio records and only 10 bands for the rest of your life who would you pick so I thought long and hard about this <clears throat> Some of my favorite bands aren't on this list simply because they don't have a huge catalog. I mean, let's say your favorite band is The Police. They only put out five albums. <laughs> and you probably heard them all a thousand times if you're a big, huge Police fan. Uh, so that's that went into account for some of these for me. Uh, I didn't just go pick everybody that had the most albums, but I picked people whose music I really enjoy and have a fairly extensive catalog. <clears throat> so some of these might surprise you and some of them might not. If you know me, I'm sure several of them will not surprise you, but three or four probably will. So let's start. Number one, Government Mule, Warren and the Boys. They've got... Uh, a good number of albums and for my taste they're great I love Government Mule from from the very inception of the band until their most recent album that's just come out well they put two out fairly recently but everything they've done has just been phenomenal to me I absolutely love listening to Government Mule so they would definitely be on my list. I would never get tired of listening to those albums. And I think the same thing can be said for all of these. <clears throat> I'll never get tired of listening to these to this music. Number two, and I tried also to keep in mind that I wouldn't want ten bands that sounded like Government Mule because I would get, there's no diversity there. There's no interesting, you know, something to keep me interested besides the same general sound. So number two, somebody else that's got quite a few albums and is a very interesting artist is Joni Mitchell. I could definitely uh, enjoy listening to her catalog for a long time. She, she herself has a, an incredibly diverse catalog. The style of styles of music that, you know, the way they change from album to album. It's always something new, always interesting, <clears throat> always great music, fantastic people playing on her records, great voice, great songwriting, just an interesting person. So Joni Mitchell, I would have to have something hard in here, and the band I chose for that was Iron Maiden, one of my favorite metal bands, uh, got a fairly extensive catalog. And I love pretty much everything they've ever put out, with the exception of two albums, which I just wouldn't listen to. Uh, <clears throat> those were the Blaze years. But anyway, yeah, Iron Maiden could keep me interested and happy musically for a long time. So they're definitely on that list. <clears throat> um, gotta have some jazz. You have to have some jazz. And this, this artist, not only in his own right had an extensive collection but the number of various people that he played with over the years is a who's who of jazz so you're going to get players you're going to get some great players if you have Miles Davis's catalog um, I mean you name it they've played with him I don't know if he ever played with Charlie Parker or not but I think he did but everybody from that era up until the 
you know, the 80s and 90s, people that are still around played with Miles Davis. Great, great artist. Speaking of keeping things interesting in a different genre, one of my favorite songwriters ever is Tom Waits. I'm not sure of the number of albums he's got, but it's got to be up close to 30, somewhere up in there. He's got some great stuff. And the way his career progressed from the very early stages into the you know the late stages <clears throat> was just fascinating to me. He goes, there's these little sections of, he's kind of like Rush in the way that his little, you know, changes happened. Uh, but yeah, fascinating, fascinating guy. And I just realized that Rush is not on this list. Okay. Uh, I gotta have my favorite band, favorite bands on here. Um, the Beatles. Don't have to say a whole lot about that. Their music is just timeless. Um, the Beatles. And right after that, The Stones. Um, and you could even, for me, you could even discount everything that came after uh, Tattoo You, that era. I mean, the stuff that they did from, you know, 65 to 80, just that 15 year period is enough. There's some great, great stuff in there. And I just love listening to the Stones. Uh, something else that's a little different, Joe Satriani. I love to listen to him play. He's incredibly talented. He's incredibly creative. And he has a huge catalog of music. Uh, <clears throat> I've, I've, the first time I ever heard Joe Satriani play was just blown away and the most recent album that he came out with I was just blown away and it's been like that the entire course of his career I just love the guy great and you gotta have some country in there if you're, from, if you're me so what country artist has put out a huge catalog and is somebody that I could listen to over and over again uh Merle Haggard is the one I would choose over Willie Nelson, over Johnny Cash, over Hank Williams, whoever. Merle Haggard is my guy, so got to have him in there. <clears throat> uh, I really love his mid mid sixties through mid early mid seventies stuff. He did a, a run of albums through there that was just killer. Just, I love, he's a great storyteller, great songwriter, great voice, everything about it. And then finally, the king of huge catalogs, the king of interesting, fantastic player. Again, like Miles Davis, so many great players played in this guy's band over the years. He created such a diverse catalog of music. I mean, it's hard to listen to any, I mean, you can pick two or three albums by him, uh, even the ones that he did back to back. And there's very few of them that sound the same. That have, I mean, they have the same who he is feel to them. But there's so much diversity of. I mean, he he was so interesting and such a great writer and such a great player and such a just a cool guy. Frank Zappa, gotta have Zappa in there. And that is my list. Notice, if you will, some of my favorite bands that did not show up on this list. Pink Floyd, Black Sabbath, Yes, Rush. Some great stuff out there that it would be difficult to know. I could never hear them again. But with this catalog of music that I've got here, I believe I could survive. So there you go. <clears throat> if you find this interesting let me know and do a video about this yourself let us know who you're gotta have them for the rest of your life if you could only have 10 um, be interesting to know so there you go I hope you enjoyed it um, if you're new to the channel which I've noticed a bunch of new people finding their way to my videos in the last couple of weeks uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more stuff it's going to be more and more stuff like this than some of the past stuff you may find on my channel. 
some of that stuff will still be there as well, but enjoy.